If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please, stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here with day 10 of my unboxing for my Papercraft Society Advent Calendar and my two Advent Calendars from Spellbinders. I can't believe we're at day 10 already, so let's hop in and see what we got going on. As usual, I'll start with the 12 Days of Stitchmas, and after this one, for this particular calendar, we only got two days left because it's only 12 days. But let us see, as I have ones that are slipping out of here, <laughs> put those back in. This is day 10 which is over here so let's see what we got for day 10 for the stitchmas calendar and my piece is coming apart come on out Oh, it's a stocking. Cute. You got your base layer. <clears throat> you got your stitching layer. And that goes inside of there. And there's three more pieces in here. Okay, and you have the layer for the top of the stocking. And then there's a piece that goes inside. And then this is the hanger. And I'm not sure what these other pieces are. Let's see if the thing gives us any hint. So that's the picture. So it is the hanger. Maybe the hanger is layered. Because there are clearly two pieces here. So must be that the that's layered. Cute. I like that a lot. Okay, let me get these pieces back in here. Because if I don't, I will lose them. Great day number 10 for the Stitch Miss. Like that, liking that. All right, let's see what we got for the Crafty Advent Calendar. And this calendar goes through the 24th. So we are on day 10, and 10 is right here. And the tag on it says, it's the thought that counts. So let's see what we got in here. It's a die set. Oh, looks like maybe a flower. Let's see. Several pieces in here. So it looks like layered flowers or flowers in three different sizes. We got a foliage piece and it looks like these layer, these pieces with layer on top of this. And then there's like berries or whatever that you can add, a flower center and a leaf. Great die set for this one. like that spellbinders comes up with i mean they could have tiny dies but they make big impacts when you use them so let's see if, what the picture shows you see the picture shows the layered flower and then the center 
Nice. And last but not least, Papercraft Society Day 10. Let's see. Day 10 is brought to us by My Creative Life, Katie Stilton. Ooh, it's a stamp set. Like a surprise. That's not helping. Let's put it down here. I think you can see it better that way. Just looking for a piece of white paper. Something I can put under here. With all the stuff I got around here, I should have something. Here's an envelope. This will work. Help me see better up close. So, this stamp set looks like it's a, like a explosion box, and then there's a top, and then there are streamers, little hearts, some stars, confetti pieces here, party time, surprise, and wow. So this is kind of like an explosion box stamp that you could use for birthdays and surprises. Kind of cute. Alrighty, now that we've seen the calendar and seen day 10, I think that I am going to try and do a little quick project and get back to you guys here to show you what I made. So. Stay tuned, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I am back, and I'm going to show you what I used. I have these So Easy flosses that I used. I used the red one, and I used the white one. I used the sentiments from, I think it was day two of the Paper Craft Society Advent Calendar. I used today's stocking I use today's flower set this is becoming my favorite this was day four the two from me and you dies and shadows and then I use this tag so let me show you what I came up with for day number 10 I made this cute little tag and I used the stocking. I did stitching in the stitch lines with the white and with the red here on the white. So I used glitter foam, my favorite new thing. I wanted to see how it would work out cutting it out out of glitter foam. So it worked just fine. Gives you plenty of dimension. I added that Merry Christmas across here from that cinnamon sticker set. Um, then for the flower, I layered it in red and green and then made the center in black. I layered the branches with the um, buds and then here's a leaf. So I think that turned out really cute. I've seen some things with the flowers coming out of the stocking. So I decided this would make a cute little holiday tag that I could attach to a present. Then on the back, I did the two and the from in the same color paper just to keep it nice and subtle and let the focus be totally on the stocking with the flowers. So day 10 is in the books. Looking forward to day number 11 tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers, both old and new. And you all have a very blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.